Hold on. You want to come and watch a video? Uh, no. What? So, we have V equals pi r squared times h. And they're asking us to solve for h. So again, all I want to do is I want to look at what is happening to my variable. So here, it's fairly easy, guys, if you just kind of think of it this way. Try, rather than trying to decipher what's happening, just think of what's not happening. Is addition going on? Do you guys anybody see any addition signs? No. Is subtraction going on? No. Is there any division? Is there any fractions or division signs? Mm -hmm. No. So therefore, we know we have multiplication that's happening. So what we have is pi, which is a, which is a number, multiplied by r squared, multiplied by h. So if I want to get the h by itself, I'm going to have to undo those multiplications. So to undo multiplication, you want to do what operation? Divide. Divide. So you just divide. So what are the two numbers that are multiplied by h? Uh, pi it's pi and r squared. So you can just divide them both at the same time. You can do them individually if you wanted to, hey, pi, or you can just do it at the same side. Hey, pi 3.14. 159, then dot, 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 goes on after. Hold on. So let me just finish up. These cancel out to 1. Mm -hmm. H equals V over pi R squared. All right, we remember, can you, right. can you say me the last one? Not when you push the camera, so